Hey everyone, this is Stevie. Welcome back to the beach. Hopefully from this point on, we will be at the beach much more often than not. Obviously with the spine infection and all that stuff, we weren't able to even get into a car, much less leave the hospital for a while. But I wanted to do this video following up from the last What Happened video as a health update. And it's all just about positive news. Uh, we now are off the walker and mostly off the cane. So I'd say about 96, 97% of the time, I am not using the cane, although I am carrying the cane with me to make sure because my energy level is still not anywhere what it was. So halfway throughout the day or even most through the day, I'm going to need the cane once in a while. But I have done walks. I walked a half a mile last week, walked a mile the other day, and then two days in a row, I walked a mile and a quarter. Um, not anywhere fast, not like real cardio like I used to do, but I'll take it for now. Um, also, regarding this, the pick line, we got our last dose of antibiotics this morning. And then in the next couple of days, we're actually going to be going to get an MRI at the Mayo Clinic. If that looks good, if there's no more inflammation on my spine or if the infection looks like it's gone, the antibiotics are done for good. Well, hopefully for good. And then this thing here comes out and then the, the fun begins. Right? My wife is actually going to hold me back from overtraining. Uh, although the training aspect of this is going to be, you know, pretty deliberate. This regimen is going to be pretty slow. So I'm going to be updating everybody here on the YouTube channel on those workouts. And of course, there's products that are going to be involved with these workouts as a full review. Say the Sand Dune Stepper, which was the first device. And I'm crediting the Sand Dune Stepper with actually reactivating my muscles uh, with working on my lymphatic system. <coughs> Maybe not my breath, but... I got some sand in my mouth, <laughs> but the sand dune stepper, no pun intended since sand just got into my mouth, the sand dune stepper was really key in the beginning of the road to recovery, even with a walker, even with the cane, even with holding the upper part of the kitchen counters, the sand dune stepper was definitely paramount and lots of people with different uh, medical conditions have used the sand dune stepper. We're gonna have a full review of that. Also, we're gonna be using isometrics we're going to be getting into the pool with water weights from Hydro Revolution. And of course, we're going to get back into more dynamic uh, weight training, but not probably for at least, what, 30, 60, maybe 90 days. Yeah. We're going to be working with bands before that, isometrics, water weights, and body weight stuff. And it's starting to rain. It's so to rain. we are going to get out of here. I just want to give everybody this update. Also, most importantly, thank each and every one of you for reaching out, I'm still getting lots of messages, emails, texts, and phone calls from friends, family, and even complete strangers, which people don't need to take that kind of time out of their day. Uh, everybody's busy and everybody has something going on. So we are definitely grateful to each and every one of you for the support. And hopefully this journey from, you know, eight, nine weeks ago at the beginning till now, and probably for the next year, is going to be something that we're going to document and hopefully inspire other people. Now, you're probably wondering really quickly, like, why is it taking so long? The antibiotics are over, you're on your feet, the infection seems to be kind of like completely eradicated. But the infection ate, ate at two levels of my spine, L4 and L5. So essentially, I have to give that spine, the microfractures and all the stuff that it was eating away, time to naturally fuse. So. Like I thought there was a spinal fusion or a future, and there kind of is, but without cutting me open. So I have to wait a few months to let it fully heal. I'm not going to have mobility. I'm not going to have flexibility for quite a long time. And that's why another thing that my wife always bugs me about has to be part of the road to recovery moving forward. And that is yoga. I got to do yoga. I plan on doing yoga and stretching and flexibility and mobility. But all that stuff's going to be documented. So please stay subscribed, click the bell to get notified. Uh, also, people have asked me how to support. People were asking about GoFundMes and stuff like that. There will not be a GoFundMe. There will not be crowd uh, funding or anything like that. If you want to support and help out, the easiest way to do it is bookmark the Amazon affiliate link in the description below. Shop as you normally do, and a little bit of that will come back and we'll reinvest it back in the company. We have other affiliate links and codes too. Check the description. And of course, we have the resistance band training programs at StevieRichardsFitness.com. That's the way that I really, if you're going to support us, please do it any of those ways. 
and we really appreciate it. The rain is starting to come down. So my wife's gonna take some photos as it rains. Uh, once again, thank you to each and every one of you. Most importantly, and God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.